to an able.org presents Mathematical Literacy, Data Handling, Instruments for Collecting Data. We are still working with the handout for this week and we are at Instruments for Collecting Data. Data can be collected in different ways, namely observation, so you will look at people, questionnaires that they have to fill out, or surveys, uh, questionnaires or surveys, same thing, and interviews. <coughs> An example of observation will be if you sit it at a certain robot and, or traffic light and count how many cars drive past in one hour during a peak traffic time. Okay, so that is, uh, for instance, if you want to know what color car is most popular, right? A questionnaire is a document that consists of questions that will help you to investigate your hypothesis. Remember, we spoke about hypothesis earlier this week. The easiest is to hand out the questionnaire to people, let them complete it and take back and take it back. However, in some cases you might find it necessary to do a survey by asking the questions and writing down the answers yourself. For example, when a person is blind or disabled or when you are doing a telephone survey. Right. In interview, an interview is where you ask a person a question and record the answers by recording by writing it down or by recording with a recording device, make, maybe making a video. Right, so developing questions, the questionnaire. A questionnaire is a document that consists of questions that will help you to investigate your hypothesis. Questions must be based on the hypothesis and must make sense. Right, so you, you don't want to put questions into your questionnaire that's completely beside the point and also questions that's a little bit vague or weird. Questions and questionnaires itself must be kept short and to the point because if you want to hand out a questionnaire, you don't want people to lose interest halfway between the questionnaire and then you don't get the data that you wanted. And questions must be clear and asked in such a way that a person can give a short answer or a yes or no. Don't ask an open in question to which you must write a long answer. The reason for this, it's very difficult to collect the data or to analyze the data if you have an open end question because how are you going to group the questionnaires together? Here's, our, here's some examples of questionnaires. Right? First of all, you can do a scale questionnaire with words. So one differs strongly, two differ, three neutral, four agree, five agree strongly. You can have a questionnaire with numbers, 10 to 15, 16 to 20, 21 to 25. You can have options where they tick the boxes, yes, no, or I don't know. You can have a question and leave a space to write an answer. What's your favorite food? How many times per day do you eat? How often do you do exercise? Well, that's actually ticking the boxes better. Right, so now this is the exercise, data collection, collecting, collection instruments. Right, an advantage and a disadvantage of using the following um, means of data collection. So observation, right in an advantage, a disadvantage, but you have to think and be creative. A questionnaire, advantage and disadvantage. Survey, per telephone, advantage, disadvantage. Interview advantage and disadvantages. Okay, well let's quickly go through those question answers. <coughs> um, right, observation. It's direct, um, it's diverse and flexible and you, you, there's a provision of a permanent record. The disadvantage is it's impractical. The observer can be biased. So um, if you want to say, for instance, uh, observe w which people are tall and short, there's a, some people will think somebody is quite tall and then other people will say they are actually quite average. And the observer effect, it's also quite time consuming because um, you, you, you can't, you have to sit at a certain spot for a long period of time. Question is, it's practical, you can get a large amount of information, you can get a large sample size, it's quick and easy to conduct. The disadvantage, um, 
it lacks validity. So you can have one person filling out 50 questionnaires and making a big joke about it. Um, you you have no um, you you don't know whether people are telling the truth or not. Uh, the respondent lack interest, so a per person can just quickly fill out yes, yes, yes for all the answers, um, and without even reading it, and the emotion is hard to pick up. Survey using the telephone. It's quicker to complete, it's more adaptable, and you can do quali quality control. Um, it can be non-responsive. People cannot wait to participate. Participate, participate and limited time to complete. So you have to be very quick and people are in a hurry. I interview, it's personal, there's a depth response. Uh, sensitive topics can be addressed because you're going to have one person per time or very small groups. There's a high response. People can't just say, uh, I don't know. It's time consuming and costly. Um, you need direct interviewers and the data can be diff uh, interpreted differently. Okay, let's quickly go back to the questions. Uh, design a questionnaire containing at least two questions for each of the following hypotheses or topics. A. Most boys between the ages 13 and 18 attend high school. And B. What do people spend their salaries on? Right, so here are the answers. Okay, so you can ask them their age. Do you attend school? Which school do you attend? What grade are you in? Do you have to, uh, have you repeated a year? Okay, so these are all different questions that you can ask boys. Um, and you can ask people spending their money on, you can ask them their age. Then you know people between this and this age usually spend their money on this. People between that and that age spend their money on this. What gender are you? Females spend their money on this. Males spend, spend their money on that. Are you currently working? Okay, which is great because if they're not working, you don't have to, you don't have to <laughs> analyze the income. What income bracket do you fall, fall in? And then the different incomes. So, uh, do you save money? Tick what money, uh, what you spend your money on. Food, entertaining, cosmetics, clothes, sporting, school events, airtime, petrol, toiletries, personal hygiene. Um, you can even add... Uh, uh, do, do, how far do you live from the store or which stores do you buy at right so those are all the different questions you can ask um, when you're doing a questionnaire on those two topics and then the last question of this exercise is um, which question should not be in each of the following questionnaires and why Topic. Which daily activity do, do most women spend their time on? Question is gender, male, female, race. On which activity do you spend the most of your day? Sleeping, cleaning, working, driving, other. If you choose other, please define. And the next one. How many South African children brush their teeth at least once a day? Age 0 to 9, 10 to 19, 20 plus. Gender, male, female, nationality. I brush my teeth the following amount of times per day. Right, now let's quickly look at that answer. Um, the first one about the uh, what do women spend their time on? The gender is a, is a silly question because you're going to only hand it out to women. Um, the um, Okay, so that's silly. And then the other one, the age, um, you, if you want to know how, uh, about the uh, teeth brushing habits of children, you're not going to ask people that's older than 18. So you have to do smaller age groups, but um, only till about 13 or 16. You could say the nationality because you only want South Africans to participate. So therefore you can ensure that's only answered by South Africans and then throw out the rest of the, the questionnaires that was handed out. All right. Um, uh, let's look at the next question. Okay, this is an open-end question, right? It says, um, make a questionnaire 
about the information about the people in your community that consume answer so you have to f uh, work out the number of people how often and how much do they consume alcohol number of men and women ages of the people right so you have to design a questionnaire and let's quickly see look at uh, Sid. all right so um, just remember your questions have to be uh, easy to answer uh, and easy to analyze, uh, uh, analyze and you can ask your teacher to help you with this thank you very much and that completes our uh, week good luck with the test